The screams of the patients on Ward 5 told Adelaide Blake that time had run out. She stopped searching for the key to the file cabinet and went to stand at the door of the small office. She had not dared to turn on any lights in the laboratory. There was enough moonlight spilling through the high arched windows to illuminate the long workbenches and create ominous silhouettes of the equipment and instruments. The wails and shrieks and howls from the floor below were escalating rapidly. Something, or more likely, someone, was agitating the patients. The ward on the fifth floor was reserved for the most hopelessly mad and insane. The locked rooms housed those who were forever lost in their own private hells. Some of the patients were afflicted with violent, paranoid visions and hallucinations. Others battled fearsome monsters that only they could see. Soon after she had been locked in one of the cell-like rooms on Ward 5, she had learned that the patients provided an excellent alarm system, especially at night. Nights were always the worst. The nerve-shattering chorus of the damned echoed up the stone staircase. There was no one around to calm the inmates. The orderlies on the locked ward had been given the night off. She could not delay any longer. If she did not escape now, she might not make it at all. She would have to leave the file behind. She left the doorway of the office and started to make her way cautiously through the maze of workbenches. She had plotted her exit strategy down to the smallest detail, but the last-minute decision to look for the file had put the plan in jeopardy. She had to get out of the laboratory immediately, or she might not escape. Originally, the Rushbrook Sanitarium was the private mansion of a wealthy, eccentric industrialist who had intended to entertain on a grand scale. The result was a gothic nightmare of a house, with five floors, endless hallways, and the tower room that now served as a laboratory. The single redeeming architectural virtue, as far as Adelaide was concerned, was that there were a number of discreetly concealed staircases intended for the use of a large staff.